Dr. Tom Mather, director of the University of Rhode Island Center for Vector-Borne Disease and its Tick and Counter Resource Center. Now it may seem like we're standing in the middle of the woods, but this is actually URI's newest facility in the fight against Lyme disease. It's our tick control product testing laboratory. Let me give you a little look around. The core of the facility are these little arenas. They're one foot in diameter and they contain leaf litter, so they simulate the exact habitat that these deer ticks thrive in. We've got 60 nymphal ticks counted out in each one of these bottles and we're going to add 60 ticks to each arena. It took us months to grow these ticks in the lab. Now we just smack them down, then swap them out. Color coding the arenas will help us stay organized. Next is metarizium, which is yellow. Finally, we just cover each arena with a mesh. Most of the ticks won't really crawl out, but we don't want an animal to come by and carry off our hungry ticks. After a day to let the ticks acclimate to their new environment, now it's time to kill some ticks. The clear spray shield keeps all of the treatment in the arena. We're delivering the sprays at 90 pounds of pressure and all of the dosages have been calculated to simulate actual field rates. When it comes time to see if we've actually killed some ticks with our treatments, we use these customized tick press boards that um, fit right into the arena. Matt, why don't you go right to it? So we sample and we check and we then look to see how many ticks are there. What do you see, Matt? I see quite a few ticks. We're getting a lot of ticks at this, at this particular um, treatment. We'll have to look back at our records to see if it was either the water control or maybe one of the products didn't kill so many ticks. We repeat this same process over six different replicates for each treatment. And that way we can be pretty confident that we know whether a product is killing ticks or not. How many did you get? Um, 32. All right, so he's gonna keep sampling until he doesn't get any ticks on three successive tries. The sampling process is repeated on days two, six, and 10 post-treatment. We're also testing for any residual product activity. The best products will have both quick knockdown and at least a couple of weeks of residual activity. So we're gonna keep testing minimal risk natural products here in our tick control facility until we find some products that really work well that people will use because killing ticks in your own backyard is a great way to prevent Lyme disease. Ooh.